a big fan of a couple greens here, guys, that I'd like to share with you. The first one I have here for all the Italians out there is actually dandelion. And I know that uh, my grandfather calls this stuff Jacodia. I don't know why, but uh, it's dandelion. And this is a weed. I mean, depending on how you look at it. Uh, I have a number of them this time of the year in the spring just growing out of the ground. I don't even need to plant this stuff. <laughs> you could, and in fact, I sort of have. I planted a mustard that's quite similar. But this is one of the first things that comes up in the spring. You want to get it before the flowers come. So I've waited a bit. Unfortunately, there's, a, there's quite a bit of latex on the bottom and the stems when you make your cut. There is a bit of latex, and uh, I think that's kind of why a lot of people don't necessarily like it, or it's not very, uh, it could be very unpleasant, but it's also very bitter, and I think that's really probably the, the number one reason. So it's not for everybody. Uh, I think you can add some vinegar to this, maybe a little lemon, maybe a little bit of olive oil, some salt. Kind of break it down a little bit in that. Let it sit there for a bit. You know, because it's kind of, it's got some stems to it. So if you let that marinate for a little bit, break down those stems, get yourself a nice little salad. You could also eat this raw. I'm not sure I'd really recommend it. But I've tasted a number of them throughout the yard to find one that I liked the best. They're all seedlings. They all propagate from seeds, so they're all different varieties, whatever they are. This one uh, I thought was the most mild of the, the entire bunch. So here's Jacodia or Dandelion. I also picked some, uh, this is some broccoli rob. This is some spring rob that actually I planted in the fall. Got myself a harvest. Uh, it's really starting to leaf out or stem out because I took off the tops. When you take off the tops of these broccoli plants, they send out a lot of side shoots. So that's what this is, a lot of side shoot of broccoli rob. Get it before it flowers or before the flowers open and start to turn yellow, um, you're good. There's many different varieties of broccoli rob. In fact, there's even uh, similarly grown plants, kind of like Chinese broccoli. But um, this one actually was relatively easy when grown in the fall. I haven't had too much success with it in the spring but overwintered throughout the wintertime, actually, it did really well and put out a nice amount of food. And these are not, oddly enough, bitter. Um, broccoli rob, when grown at the store, and I really like broccoli rob because of the bitterness. Um, it really goes well with some something like penne and sausage, fennel. You get uh, maybe some tomatoes, some mushrooms, olive oil sauce with garlic. It's so good. Uh, but this is not bitter, and I don't know why, probably because of the variety. Maybe it's the way it's, the, it's been grown. Maybe it's not enough warm temperatures, and that's why it hasn't turned bitter. I really don't know, but I'm going to keep picking at it. It's going to flower and going to seed right now, so that's kind of the uh, thing I wanted to do is actually collect a bunch of seed. I'm out of seed. I liked this variety of broccoli rob. It's hard to, f hard to find, I think, good seed of that, uh, oddly enough. This tray right here is uh, my pea shoots, and I've been kind of picking at this every day. I'll come in here, get myself, break off a little bit of the tip there of the, of the pea shoot, just put this in my mouth, just snack on them. They taste just like peas. They're very tender if you get them at the right stage. It can be a little tough, a little fibrous, but you got to get the tops and at the right time. You don't want to really go crazy with this and get too far down on the plant because the further the further down you go the worse it is in terms of its fiber but also they're flowering you can eat the flowers it tastes just like peas it's really good so i'm going to cut off the tops of these with these with this knife highly recommend you get a knife like this if you're going to be harvesting crops lettuce type crops 
And uh, this will make a nice salad because it's, it's got nice texture to it, nice crisp, it's sweet. You need a little bit of acidity, I guess. Or you can just garnish this with, with a salad, on your salad. And that's it. So I'm harvesting a bunch of greens today. That's sort of what I got for you guys. Let's get a few more. Uh, these are real easy, real simple to grow. I grew these peas, by the way, as like a microgreen, just seeded real heavily in this uh, in this tray, this propagation tray. Came out well. I got tons of seed. Not a whole lot to do with it. Why not get yourself some shoots, right? So there's the greens of today. See you guys soon, right? If you enjoyed this one, let me know. Hit that subscribe button. Catch you guys for the next one.